coal mining was a family story. It linked very much to everybody living in a miner's cottage, whether they worked underground or were uh, working above ground, um, either in the house or in a shop or in a school as a teacher as well. So this is a, a profession which um, brings the entire family together and meant that every shift when someone, when the, the men and the boys went underground, there was this sense of trepidation, this fear that something, any time, could go wrong on any given moment. It was also an extremely dangerous uh, profession, coal mining. Um, lots of potential for disasters underground, from roof falls to explosions to uh, the coal drums crashing into each other and uh, catching hands and um, li other limbs. Um, and this led to uh, a series of famous disasters over the years, from St. Helen in 1913 to Aberfan in 1966, and of course uh, the Albion disaster in 1894. Um, each of them with massive loss of life, really. Uh, they all have a cost for uh, men and boys and young, young children, particularly in Aberfan. And so we can see from in the connections between Aberfan in 1966, when that was a disaster which engulfed a school, to the Albion disaster in 1894, and the St. Henneth disaster in 1913, both of which claimed a large number of uh, children and, and young people, that this is a, an industry which was dangerous for all parts of society. The Albion disaster, which is even today somewhat forgotten, despite the fact it was the most severe disaster in South Wales in the 19th century. It's the same, it's the same kind of bit of the coal seam as St. Hennig, so this has this kind of explosive um, character, and it's not the only disaster that takes place at the pit in that period either. The disaster takes place on a, a really quiet Saturday afternoon, uh, the 23rd of June, uh, 1894. Um, it's coming near to the end of the shift, so the miners are, are still working, but they're gearing down, they're getting ready to go home, their uh, families back at home are maybe looking through the window, waiting for their, their loved ones to come up out of the mines for their, their Saturday afternoon tea. And that, that moment, that eerie silence, in a, in a kind of way, uh, presages the, the disaster that's to come. the Saturday afternoon, the explosion begins. But why does it begin? There's not really a great deal of certainty as to why the uh, Albion colliery did explode on that particular afternoon. All we know is that the explosion happened and that its effects were enormous and significant for the community of Kilvenny. The explosion is heard all around Kilvenny. And those off shift race to the pit head um, with all of the equipment that they might need to begin a rescue underground. They take with them tools, they take with them a canary. The canary is sus more susceptible to the gases underground. And so there's a kind of early warning signal that uh, there's danger in the area of the mine that the mine is going into. But the scenes that they find in the ground are harrowing. There's bodies, there's debris all underground. And it's enough for them to try and rescue as many of the bodies that they can to bring them uh, back to the surface for a proper burial. And uh, sheeting on a stretcher um, brought up onto the surface where the families have to go through the experience of identifying as best they can who the victims might be. The disaster claimed the lives of 290 men and boys, the youngest of whom was 13 years old, and the oldest was 60. Um, 
Of the 125 horses that were at the ground, only two survived, so 123 lost their lives. It's a remarkable figure. And then that there were 350 fatherless children and as many as uh, 150 uh, widows left on the surface. 